Hey cactus friends, it's Jenny from Cookies Cacti. And I've been wanting to repot a couple of aerocarpus for a little while now. Um, I did one of them last weekend and I think that the second one I thought, why don't I uh, record it and take you along with me on this journey of repotting aerocarpus. So um, today I have this aerocarpus retusis frumdosis, I think it's pronounced. I bought this over a year ago from a seller on Instagram. It's been doing well. I have it potted in this very inorganic soil mix, which I've found that being in Phoenix, because it's so dry and so hot, this is actually a little bit too inorganic for this climate because it dries out extremely quickly. And the nice thing about this aerocarpus is that I can squeeze the tubercle and kind of get get an idea of when it's thirsty so it'll have give and I find that um, in this inorganic of a mix um, I, I feel give pretty quickly between waterings so um, I'm going to repot it into a slightly more organic mix which is my usual 25% uh, cactus soil with 75% perlite which I have ready over here I feel like I'm doing a cooking show because I have my ingredients and everything ready. So the pot that I'm planning on using is this pot that was made by a local pottery artist here in Phoenix. His Instagram handle is spines and clay. So I'll put it in the description below um, his information. And I believe he does a lot of regular releases of pottery on his Instagram account. Um, so if you're interested in this, in his pottery, please give him a follow. His name is Bill. So hi, Bill. I love your pottery. So this is one of the pots that I bought from him earlier this year. And I find that lately when I buy pottery, they do sit for a little while until I'm ready for the repotting. Whereas, uh, like I have a lot more patience and waiting to repot now. Whereas in, when I was starting out with this whole plant journey, I was always in a rush to repot things. But now it's the opposite. He's got this really cool pot. Uh, let me show you the repotting that I did last weekend. This is a Aerocarpus retusis that I bought from the same Instagram seller who sold me this. I bought these two and actually one more um, together. But this is the Aerocarpus retusis and this is also in a pot by Spines and Clay. It's made by Bill. These are very substantial pots, like they're they're heavy and thick and should last probably entire lifetime without me dropping it. Try. Fingers crossed I don't do that. So I'm going to do the same thing here today. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to start by just dumping the this pot out and I'm going to save you can see this very colorful, very coarse top dressing, which is actually a very inorganic um, soil mix that I found is too inorganic for this climate. I'm gonna save that, I will reuse it. And what I had done in the past is I followed another grower on YouTube where he says that he only puts the soil medium to cover the roots and then where the very huge tap root is, but without the fine roots, he would just fill it with inor like coarse inorganic material. So really only the, the area of the aerocarpus with fine roots is actually covered with soil that has organic medium in it. So I haven't um, taken this out of the pot in quite a while, so let's take a look. So it rained, I think, just a couple days ago. It looks like this is pretty dry. So you can see how gritty and how inorganic this soil mix was. And I did that because I was just terrified of rotting the plant. So this was to play on the safe side, but now having had this plant for over a year, I know that it can take a little bit more organic than this. I'm just going to kind of lightly 
loosen the root ball a little bit. Um, but I don't have to remove everything. And loosening it is more to give it, you know, the roots a good chance to spread into its new soil medium. So, I mean, that should be good enough. Take a look at the roots. Gosh. Looking pretty good. Lots of fine roots. So what I was saying earlier is that that particular aerocarpus grower only fills the pot up to where the fine roots stop. And then here where this thick tap root is, he just has this very coarse inorganic material. Just helps keep it, you know, less chance of rot. All right, so I've got my new pot and Spines and Clay sends his pots with these screens in them, which is really nice. So I'll have to get my own. Let's take a look. Does it fit? Fits nicely. So I don't like to overpot aerial carpus because in the end I'm still scared of rotting the plant out. Basically, if I they can get too much moisture by overpotting. So I think this is a pretty good fit. Nice perfect fit. And I have my usual cactus mix. As I mentioned earlier, 25% cactus soil, 75% pumice. I've lightly wet it so that it's moist, not, not soaking wet, just moist. Um, and I'm going to use this to repot um, the plant into its new pot. And then so this moisture will kind of keep the roots going and hopefully help promote um, healing. And I will not water the plant for probably at least a week, if not 10 days or even more. Let's see if I can get this. Let me do a little light layer of potting mix at the bottom. Stick this in there. And just start filling it up. I think I'll follow the same principle as I did last time following that Aerocarpus growers tactic of only covering the fine roots with the with the soil and then I'll use inorganic for the rest of it. That pretty much already does it in terms of how much soil is in here. bit more. Could do it. Now I'm going to fill the rest of this up with uh, just decomposed granite. So this is decomposed granite that I sifted and washed. I bought this in a big bag from Home Depot. And I have these uh, sifting screens that I use to get the size of decomposed granite that I like. And for the these mature plants, I just use the coarsest sifter that I have. It does take a little bit of work to prepare that decomposed granite, but it's worth it. So it is September 13th, as I record today. Actually, I completed 41 trips around the sun today. I turned 41 years old today. And I don't know how I feel about that. You know, lately as I get older, I can really feel the, the clock ticking and the sense of time passing quickly. And I also feel that it this time is not infinite, you know, it is finite. And with Cookie's health, with those I love around me also getting older, it actually gives me a lot of anxiety these days. It's funny because, uh, you know, these things might used to 
hang out in the background of your mind and your thoughts. And now it's coming into the foreground. So I think it's going to take some time for me to accept that, to process it. Uh, definitely struggling a bit with it. So that was quick and easy, right? It's a bit easy to remember when I repotted this. I repotted it on my birthday. Alright, so what do you think? Let me take this camera off of the stand and let's do some close-ups. of an Areocarpus retusis that was also struggling in this very, in a very inorganic mix. So this is a chunky one. I know it's some sort of retusis. Maybe it has some cultivar to it. I'm not sure. You see how chunky the tubercles are? This was a, I believe it probably is a degraft. Because if you were to unpot this, you would see the way that the roots are. It's a degraft. Right now, it's actually, when I squeeze it, the tubercles are nice and full. I had watered this probably a week or less than that ago, and it had rained a couple days ago. Um, but I had it potted because I was terrified of, of rotting it out. I had it potted um, in a mix very similar to these that we saw before. Extremely inorganic. And after a while, it was just... Uh, would you say like kind of wrinkly and the tubercles were shrunken and it was it, and I was like is it rotting or what but I think it was thirsty and so I took it out of its plastic pot from before put it into this fully glazed pot this pot was made by gel and ceramics uh, Jessica who makes beautiful pottery Let me show you this sorry about all the mess in the background this beautiful pot but you know, this pot is fully glazed, which means that it doesn't dry out as quickly as, let's say, clay or, well, basically clay, or even sometimes plastic, like these nursery pots that have a lot of uh, holes at the bottom. Um, it's potted in exactly the so same soil mix that I showed for this, so 25% cactus soil, 75% pumice with decomposed granite as the topsoil. And after I repotted it in here, um, the plant just plumped up, so you can see how chunky it is. It seems to be pretty happy. I like this one a lot. So that's my video on repotting this Areocarpus retusis frumdosis. Oops, that's my sweat there, sorry about that. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy this video. Um, talk to you soon. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.